Good morning, Monday morning. I have Rob and Marvin in the car. These boys, you guys played some NHL hockey. Eh, no big deal. But anyway, they're worried uh, about how we're gonna bring this to the public limelight. And you're gonna, you have Veda Sport, right? You right. guys do uh, medical cannabis stuff? And THC, what is it? Tell right, me. So, so Explain we represent, to me the whole deal. Uh, we represent Veda Sport. Uh, yeah. And we are a, uh, what's known as a CBD isolate product line. Awesome. Uh, and it's geared towards uh, athletes, um, people who uh, are worried about testing, um, and then also possibly drug interactions where um, what's known as a full spectrum product uh, wouldn't be what, what you would want. So the thing is, is like, this has powers to reduce inflammation, yeah? Is that a big thing with it? Yeah, that's one of the biggest things it works with. Um, when you think of, uh, you know, what, what you do in sports, is, is a lot of it puts a lot of pressure on your on your in interior. So, so inflammation is, is the result, right? So, so recovery is something that this actually helps a lot with, and it's not necessarily known yet. And what is um, what's basically the product line that you guys uh, represent, and, and what's the delivery devices, the, the mechanism? Is it like an edible type of product? Is it a vaping product? Explain to me how it works. Well, the, the industry itself is fairly familiar with the oils that everyone takes. They, you know, they put the dropper under their tongue. Right. Um, that, that's kind of standard. That's like the first uh, iteration of this. Um, but next, when we talk about people that need higher potencies or, or larger doses, they have to think about different delivery mechanisms. Okay. And when we talk about different delivery mechanisms, you have to understand that when you put an oil under your tongue, you still have to digest it. Um, and most people that are using this are using it for anxiety, as we find, or, or you know, as a lot of people know, or press knows about is, is epilepsy. Yeah. Uh, you need an instant dosage of that, and, and an oil is not going to do that for you. So we have a vape, which is uh, fairly instant, um, very high bioavailability, uh, and we have a spray as well, which is similar, where you would spray it on the inside of your cheek. And how long have you guys been involved? How did you get involved? First of all, what's your background? Uh, I, was, I played hockey for about 10 years. Okay. Um, so physically, I, uh, I've, I feel much more than, than 35 as I am today. Yeah. Um, so I need these. You look 25. Wow. God bless you. I was going Amazing. Way. I said, you're you were... only. You're only. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's my show. I have to be polite. Yeah, I'm the host. I, I mean, Jimmy Fallon is not, you know, yeah. making fun of every guest that shows up, right? It's okay. I, I feel like I'm, you know, but I act like I'm way younger than I am. So that's okay. Oh, you know, Makes up for it. But no, this is something that I need in my daily life in order to um, enjoy my life, to not focus on the pain of things, to not focus on the, the anxiety of things, to, to, to focus more on the actual day-to-day -day, uh, fun. And, and so the company was founded when? Uh, about uh, almost 18 months ago now. 18 months ago, so it's a startup company. And how can people find you guys? I know you're on the gram, and that's what? Yeah, we're at Veda ECN is our uh, full spectrum uh, line. Uh, and then uh, we are at Veda underscore sport for our sport uh, and CBD isolate line. And, and how did you guys hook up? Have you been buddies your uh, whole life? Uh, or that, this the product is actually, is, it's weird. I didn't know why I met Marv through, this sounds weird, through his wife. Um, no, just kidding. But she was uh, she was with a different company. I was here in pro camp, and I ran into them. They came in to speak to the athletes. Yep. Uh, at that time, I just had kind of issues with with anxiety and uh, just some post concussion symptoms I had. And uh, the product really had it hit home with me. So I, I jumped on board as an athlete just to be pr loud and proud, so to speak. Yeah. And then I started hanging around Marvin and, and the company a little bit. And I seen how, you know, their view of, uh, like Marvin mentioned, going global and helping everybody having a, an impact on the population. Really jumped. I like that message a lot of helping everybody. And then I got involved in the company as far as uh, financially investing. Uh, so, so here I am. So Marvin, you actually uh, were one of the founders originally? or uh, I, Loosely. I mean, I, I was involved from the beginning just because, um, you know, my I, I was able to give some input on the sports side of things. My wife's actually a co-founder, um, and she's, you know, uh, on the board and the all boss. that. So, so yeah, she's, she's the the a boss. CEO. The so boss. She runs the show, yeah. all of our shows. So <laughs> and what was your wife's background before? Uh, she had a, you know, she traveled the world with me, right? Uh, while, I, you know, I played uh, domestically and in, in, uh, I was with the Montreal Canadiens organization and in, in, uh, in, in Hamilton and then the uh, New, uh, New York Rangers organization at Hartford, right? So, so that was all local, um, but then, uh, you know, life brought us to Europe where I played for about seven years throughout uh, Europe. 
And at the same time, my wife had a remote uh, job that whole time, okay. which is uh, more common now, but at the time was a lot more difficult. So she uh, basically ran the largest uh, pain management clinic in Canada remote. Really? Uh, which is, you know, so, so she has a history in, in startups. She has a history in healthcare. Um, and she's. Uh, well, damn it. Uh, Why'd I get you guys? I should I, have know, her. I, she I, sounds I, like a real hustler. I just right? get the guys that play hockey, <laughs> you know. We're the B crew. She was booked, I guess. Unbelievable. <laughs> she must be doing Letterman or something, right? <laughs> of course, that's not a thing anymore. But who are they going to say? <laughs> no. uh, so, so, guys, on a daily basis, uh, is there. Is there like a, a, a remedy or a dosage that you recommend or how does it work? Like can someone just take it randomly based on how they feel or I don't even know. I mean it's it's a it's a it's a really deep, you know, kind of conversation where, you know, you go all the way back to this should be in our diets. Yeah. Um, you know, we're not supposed to take these as an oil under our tongue. We're not supposed to vape these. That's that's what we're doing to make up for the lack of it in the actual food chain throughout the years. So, um, but you need this every day. This needs to be in every single animal on this planet's uh, uh, diet. You know, they, they discovered the endocannabinoid system in all breathing animals. Um, and that is a, a system just as important as every other system in your body. Um, it's actually the thermostat for the body. So, you know, consider your house without a thermostat, it's a pretty uncomfortable place. Right. So that's that's how your body's acting, right? So your thermostat's been broken since you were born. So we're just supposed right? to eat hemp all the time. Yeah, not that simple, right? But, uh, you know, basically, right, you're supposed to, in order to kickstart your endocannabinoid system, uh, you need to consume... Is this a term that somebody just that smoked a lot of weed decided yeah, right. to it make up? Sounds it, doesn't it? it sounds really I, I much mean, like the, that. The deeper I get into it, the the you know I I, I like to learn these things. So okay. um, the endocannabinoid system. I mean, it's a mouthful. It's 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 it's, it's the buzzword. It Everybody's sounds like you know what you're about. talking about, dude. You sound like, like, like yeah. damn, yeah. this dude knows a lot, right? What is it? What is it? What? No, no, it's okay. You do it. You do it this time. No, you do it this time. What? Your turn. You gotta get on the camera. <laughs> I didn't want to be on camera. Right. <laughs> he to repeat himself. He's got a mouth. Right. No, so it, this is just, yeah, this is something that everybody needs in their diet. It's gonna help with a lot of things. I take it for pain management, which if it wasn't for the pain management, then that leads to depression and anxiety and other things. Donnell right? Rawlings, what's up, buddy? My man, that's Ashley Larry. You know Ashley Larry from the Chappelle Show? I'm rich, bitch. I'm yeah, rich, bitch. I do. I love that. Mike, what's going on? Saying hi, guys. Okay, so, um, with the products, how did how did, how's the product manufactured? Like you guys are out of Naples, Florida, right? Correct. The the whole company is based out of Naples. No, no? The, the the company is actually based out of Miami. Okay. Um, you know the 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 bigger picture is more than just Veda. Um, you know we're we're trying to affect the the global health uh, kind of epidemic here, yeah. where like I said, this needs to be in the the, the population's daily diet, right? Um, so, so that's important to us, um, you know, so locally Florida is just the base of operations uh, We have quite a bit of uh, operations on kind of a global level as you know sports kind of transcends everywhere, right? So, right. Um, you know our partnerships in sports the things that we've done to try and make it You know to, to increase that knowledge base within sports is, is, is kind of our drive right now And that's you know a, a guy plays here and then he goes to Europe or you know, then 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 we're that's a global reach right, right there. We're, and, and obviously, there's tons of athletes, whether it's a high school, college, or a pro level. I mean, that's a big range. But there's other uses that you guys have. I mean, you have. I, I was looking at your website, right? You have like a sport. So each line is different, or is that just um, the benefits based on how it works? Like, because or is it all the same types of products? Right. Like so. So the. The, the Veda ECN product is uh, is where the science is proven. That's a full spectrum product. Um, and that's what people should, so you need uh, the minimum amount of THC in order to deliver the full product. That's okay. that's the science is, is on that side. Yeah. But because there's companies like Comcast and because uh, pro sports ha you know, have testing, right. uh, you have to have an option for them as well because they need these too. So that's where the sport comes in. Okay. And uh, that's based off of WADA's uh, testing, which they allow CBD, but no other cannabinoids. So THC, the things that get you high. Okay. And that, that's where our sport line is born. That's, and I'm covered, that's why I kind of, I'd like to come in and, and really have an impact on the sporting world 
Auburn as well. But like, I just we just play. I played last year and seeing what's going on. Right. There needs to be alternative solutions for sure. Right. There's stuff you do, and it's not to to attack it and like really. Because there's got to be a lot of pain management. There's I mean, a lot. I mean, you go, getting you know, crushed up against the boards and yeah, punched in the face, and you don't. Not all leagues are flying charter flights, right? Like you know, you travel on a bus. These Absolutely. Coast guys have a really tough gig. I mean, they travel a long way. Like they get sleeper buses, but still, like. I know. If you bet on a sleeper bus, it's, yes, it's, it's nice to lay down on a bus, but it's not like a, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, so, some of the NHL teams travel uh, uh, com commercial. I yeah, mean, yeah. up till recently, you know, a few of the bigger teams that you would be surprised would. So they, they demand a lot from their players. Right. But they're not giving them the, the right tools to continue this this at that level. Right? You can't you can't continue to compete at a level if you're not giving the correct tools to stay at that level. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's, that's a big problem. And is there a huge difference between what I know about this stuff can fit in the thimble but I'm trying to learn <laughs> I, so I want to learn all about it yeah that's so, everybody so the, the THC yeah. products are is a different line then you have the CBD <clears throat> products are you delivering CBD in a vape as well or no just the THC type product yeah so so we don't currently have any actual THC products that would get, get you high okay okay so the, the products that we have that have THC in them, it's below the legal amount. Got it. So, so it's that, really not there. Yeah. Right. So, so you like still I said, consider it, a CBD it acts, type product. Right. So it acts as a carrier in that case. Okay. The, the, there's no psychedelic to it. Okay. Um, but the efficiency of the product is, is heightened when you add THC to it. It's okay. super beneficial. Right? They come with three different letters besides T. As soon as you say THC, it gets really fuzzy, right? If you could say like this, is the, if there's a different word that explain to you that you need that little amount in these CBD products, then you don't be other than THC. As soon as you say THC, you kind of like have to educate really. Deep. Okay. Anyway, sorry, Mark. So, no, so then that brings me to another question: Do I need a medical marijuana license no. to take your products, or no? Well, that's the funny thing, right? So you're everybody's excited about medical marijuana, right? But I think that the the majority of the population is not going to care about medical marijuana. Um, that is, you know, these high strains. Or Unless high... you go out to Las Vegas and well, you want yeah, to have I mean, some a, good edibles. It's a cocktail. Well, it's right? a cocktail, yeah. right? So these high potencies, high strains, they're, they're, you've peeled away a lot of the other cannabinoids that give health benefits. Mm -hmm. And you're relying solely on THC. Okay. Right? And it's bred to heighten that amount of THC. So it's going to get you high. That's, that's what THC does right. in those amounts. Um, you know, it's it, that's that's the the gold. kind of the truth of it. So it, gold, yeah. eventually, I, you know, the hemp industry will, will will be much 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 larger than the actual medical marijuana t uh, uh, industry. But that's the sexy thing right now. Everybody wants to talk about that. They do, they do, and it and it just seems like like I I make vodka and rum and gin, and I you know my spirits brand is growing. It's all organic. I kid you not. There's not a day that goes by where someone's like, you need to make a. CBD, uh, vodka, uh, you know, right. like, I don't know. So is it like something that's like a I've buzzword or is this just the, it really, this yeah. stuff works? I mean, it's got to work. Like everyone's into it now. Brewing is a big thing. They're talking about alcohol in Canada. I have a lot of friends that played, we played hockey up there. So a lot of people in Canada are talking about that because it's, now it's legal full, but like all around, right? Um, recreational medical like in that. Canada everything Canada. well you, no, but you like can't you brewings. yeah so there, there there's gonna be rules the regulations and all these things are to come because the FDA really hasn't stepped in yet yeah, yeah. so until it's an unscheduled product then the FDA can step in and start doing regulating and uh, you know some of the rules like you can't for now I believe you can't add THC to an alcoholic beverage right right, right? so those so those areas are, are gonna be better defined probably across a, a larger you know demographic right yep. pro, you know you have to be right I gotta say that's not a great combo though alcohol and THC it's yeah just, I know it not make any right. sense at all like, because they do two different things correct well yeah and it's, it's just well they're kind of counteractive right counteractive. yeah it just makes no sense alcohol is more of a downer well, disclosure I know we're live and I've had the experience a few times <laughs> really I don't I believe that, that I I'm shocked left-handed cigarette and I took the left-hand cigarette, and like five minutes later, I was over the bowl. Like it's all just, dry. Oh my god! It really? Just, it changed guy. everything, and it, it's, it doesn't mix. So, uh, the talk and conversation, I think, is, is a bunch of hype. I don't, I don't. Maybe as someone that's yeah had the experience, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't buy a drink that did that to me because yeah. it's horrible. Because together, the mix is uh, no the good. place no just started up. spinning. Everything started spinning, and I had no control. <laughs> I was over the bowl in five minutes. It, it was like, wow, that's I regret that. It's like Ron Burgundy walking down the street with a glass of milk, and he's like, ah, oh, it's so damn hot. Right. That's how I felt. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Should have smoked yeah, that joint. 
Oh no, I, I think when you talk of the, the, the things that you can do to, say, a cocktail, right? You can take your typical cocktail, and instead of putting THC in it, you can have what's called the entourage effect. And if everybody in this industry knows or has experienced these products, they know it. it it's, it's a feeling that uh, you kind of can't explain. You have to feel it. So when you add that to a cocktail, forget about the THC. Just now you're, you're to a point where you're at this, this balance. And at the same time, these... She these... says there's no sound. You guys can't hear us? How come? Are we in a dead zone? I don't know. Is there no sound, guys? He can't hear you. <laughs> I'm mic'd up. Is it? Yeah, it's good, right? Okay. So maybe there was You're just no sound sure. for a minute there. I don't speaking know. Oh, you can't hear me? Maybe you probably have to talk louder in the back. I got you. Talk like you're in a sold out uh, game. Yeah, right? And you just yeah, scored. Right. Gotcha. I awesome. saw one time you, you scored like 48 goals or something, 48 <laughs> points or something. Yeah. Yeah. What, is, what was it? This guy's got, he, he's the man, my gosh. So, I haven't played junior in London. I had uh, 145 points in a season. I saw that. That was amazing. Yeah, I was, I was mad that year. Yeah. I was pretty upset, so I was out to prove a point. You did, apparently. I did. I showed him. <laughs> so you, want, you want a piece of me? Watch this. Bam. 145 uh, points. So, guys, on a daily basis, um, you are out there, what, selling online or you have storefronts? Or how, does it, how do people get the product? Uh, a lot of different ways. Um, advertising in this industry is difficult just because of uh, where it's placed in things yep. right now. Um, so you have to do a lot of things organically. You have to, um, and, and at the same time, it, even better, because it's like that, the, the reviews have to be, they have to be honest, right? So typically there's so many products out there to choose from. You want to choose a product that has an honest opinion about it yep. or an honest feel about it. Right, you don't want to, uh, you know, go into a situation where you're really not trusting it, but you're just you want to get on the wave. And, and, and you brought, um, you brought a vape pen, and yes. this is a vape like a CBD oil. Is that what this is? Uh, so this is, yeah, this is a, a CBD product. They're sexy little things, oh, yeah. huh? <laughs> Jeez, they look nice. This yeah. is the wellness one. This is this is the wellness one. This over is there? the wellness. That's okay. Let's see. Yeah, then I got this one. This one. This is what they come like this, and what they they can buy them on on the website right now. Yeah, so you can buy them online, or uh, there there are some wholesalers or, or, or retail uh, locations as well. Anybody um, locally sell it? Uh, quite a few. We we have some set up at the uh, at the farmers market on Saturdays. Uh, oh yeah, Annabelt. Oh, had I was just there. there. Joey well. Bananas is there. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah. Jay, Joey McKenna, you got to see Vader. Okay, He's okay. A great guy has, um, a, has an amazing view on life. There's a few chiropractors. There's a, there's, there's a few shops opening now. Um, the, the the goal wasn't necessarily products on shelves. Um, it it's was online. To, it, well, it was no. It was to to make sure that what we were doing was correct. We wanted okay. to make sure that we um, came to the to market with a different thought process and a different end game. Uh, and what's the thought process? Well, the thought process Because I'm into is, marketing. This is, is what uh, I do. For, so so except, hey, Now well, I know what I'm talking about. Can hey, you give me something I know <laughs> I can except, work with, baby? Perfect. Perfect. So, so perfect. Uh, we have three levels. We have uh, bioavailability, um, delivery systems, and then accessibility. So okay. those, those three Animal. those three projects. What is accessibility? Accessibility is pricing, right? Okay. I mean, you, you walk into the store and you spend oh, how, $150, how? Sure. $200 on a product, and I promise you that you're spending too much. This okay. isn't how much it should be. Um, so our products are, are, are priced according to how they should be. Okay. Um, you know, and that's and that's a huge point. I mean, that you shouldn't have. These are things that should be in our, our daily diet yep. diets. Yeah. So it shouldn't be a strain on your on your budget that's right. as well. Right? It's like that carrots. Yeah. Right. We should, we should have <laughs> we should have kale and carrots. Kale and carrots. Well, kale, kale used to be just like the 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 decor around the buffet and at some point somebody was like hey I got yeah. a great idea you they can eat that and you just and they can't started putting stuff it. on it oh. and they put it in a bowl and they put it in the middle is that how it happened for I real? think so yeah, I think it, it was, like it was always it like no no you, you'd walk in and you'd see the shop it really sound like no. you were puzzling that together as the words were coming <laughs> one after another no no I've seen this before it used to be just like the around the shrimp <laughs> yeah it was just the, it sounds it, like you were there it was the garnish it was the garnish and then somebody said and then it became the main the main event it was some it was alfalfa yeah no, that's the that's the kale. The kale. The oh, kale. kale. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Kale. kale. Terrible. I don't like kale. Much. I don't either. Are you a fan of it? No, not it's really. It's got the yeah. weird crunch taste. Yeah. I'm not a fan. Mm -mm. I'm and going. You can't iceberg. digest probably, it. Probably, you're probably gonna go Caesar salad <laughs> if I got the choice. It was the caterer. Caesar, yeah, you'll go romaine and iceberg, but kale's Absolutely. out. No, the yeah. caterer. I swear, the caterer at one point. Once the caterer someday is a hero. He kept it on the on the decor. He said. He said. Probably was the caterer because the shelf life of kale is much longer than the shelf life of iceberg and romaine. I'm just saying. It's longer. It's probably a good seven days. I like how you you didn't you didn't commit to the 
answer. You're like, yeah, it's, it takes a while. I love hey, it. I appreciate you, know? you not yeah. BSing me. When's the last time said, you heard a kale recall? You could have gave me right? any. Not number. happening, right? I'm just saying. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No one's no one's not washing kale. There's no kale crisis. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. No, so, like I said, so accessibility. It's it's about price point. This it needs is. to be in everybody's uh, uh, daily regimen. Needs to be in their pocketbook. There needs to be in their pocket. Needs to be on their kitchen sink. Uh, needs to be in their athletic bag. So so we need to make it so that it's affordable for everybody. And who's doing the design? Because it's sexy packaging. Oh. Yeah. Is uh, your wife in charge of that? She's uh, she's one of the heads. She I think she gives final approval on almost all of it. Okay. So I, I don't want to yeah I, I don't want to take credit from everybody. But yeah, she does a she lot. She makes of it. it all nice. Yeah, I mean that make was that's the expression. Make it nice, nice. If you walk into a smoke shop, like this, or nice you walk nice. into a vape shop, you can find these products. Nice, nice. But a large majority of people who need these products don't want to walk into those places. Right. So not necessarily because the people there are bad people, but because the, the previous generation Absolutely. Is, is nefarious. It's not Correct. something that they want to associate themselves with. So so now you have this massive marketplace that's looking for something different that fits into their daily yep. look. Yeah. Right. And that's where we're, where we're fill, filling that space, uh, where you have the sports market. Um, we're doing things in, in more of an aggressive way. I want, uh, you know, we're trying to promote something like Bobby here. If you, if, if anybody knows his past, he was a flashy player. Uh, we like finesse. We like flamboyance. We want you to be active. We want you to get out there. Right. We want you to run, be yourself, film yourself in the gym, do all that crazy stuff. That's where the world is going right now to, to self growth, to building your own brand. So that's where the sports Absolutely. side is. Um, and then the obviously the lifestyle side is is more of uh, um, for everybody, right? Yeah. Um, your grandparents, your aunts, your uncles, kind of it, it fits on everybody's uh, kitchen sink. So I have ADD, and yeah. um, join the group, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's so, it feel? So is this How's benefit uh, me in, in any way with that, or how does that work? Uh, so you know the science behind what we can actually say, and and the the rules behind that are are. are you, right okay. we can't we can't officially say it would help with that um, what it helps me with it helps me kind of get a calm but not in a calm in like most people that have taken these products say it would put you to sleep but, yeah. you know if you do puff this before bed it'll put you to sleep yeah uh, your body's creating melatonin already that's what this does it helps your body create more of what it does. okay so but if you take this before a competition and or a workout and your adrenaline's going uh, what it does for me it gives me a bit of a calmness but like a, a, a peak athletic calmness where okay. I think I, I'm, I'm still I still have that switch and I'm still ready I'm not drowsy but it, it helps with that as well so ADD it could help you you know get a little bit uh, you know release that cloud a bit or, or yeah maybe down more focus I, yeah okay okay I, I tip for me, honestly I have, uh, my issues were anxiety big I had really bad anxiety and I didn't know what they were at the time that's when I met Taryn and for me, the, the vape is, I take tincture in the morning and tincture at night. That's my recipe. What's it called? Tincture? Tincture is the one under the tongue. So I find that to be like a balance. It helped yeah. me. I was prescribed Xanax. And it's not something I really wanted to go after and be on for a long time. And right. I, got, I got diagnosed when I was at 31. You do the math. I hopefully get to 70 at least. Yeah. It's a long time to be on that. So we. I was really, my dad taking um, pain relievers for 25 years, knowing medicine. I didn't want to go down that route. Right. Very kind of determined. And it was very fortunate that I ran into these guys at the time I did. Anyways, um, the vape for me is, I, I describe to people like someone that has allergies, they have an EpiPen. For me with, with anxiety, I have these weird triggers like cold hands, my breathing starts changing. Sometimes I'm driving and my wife will be like, you okay? And I, she can hear it coming. The vape gives me a chance to like get in there before I, I, I that, before it was like a Xanax. As soon as that happened, I'd pop a Xanax. I'd have to. I just because I'd go right. into a tailspin of this weird anxiety attack, and I'd have to like rush home, get in whatever a comfort place. Yep. For me, yep. having the vape on me gives me like a combatant all day long. So okay. if I, as soon as I start feeling my hands get clammy, I'm like, I'll just start pounding it. So and it's a start, problem. I mean, a lot of people have the same problem. So yeah, a lot this of people. Is a great so way that's way. what we. I don't want yeah. a lot of people. To, also, we talk about on the boxing. There's dosages, but that's for you know affordability as well. You can't tell everybody, hey, hammer this. 30 times a day, they're going to be out of it in a, in a day right. or whatever, two days, three days supply, right? And so that, that's so refillable or no? These no. are one time used to One base. shot. So, so yeah, yeah use it up. We're, we're the, the, like I said, the large group that needs these products or hasn't been uh, um, um, shown these products, they're first customers, right? So yeah. they're not going to go to a store, pick up a cartridge, go get a battery, screw it together, charge Correct. it. Correct. This is you buy it, you Boom. use it, you throw it away. Exactly. Really exactly. easy. So this is kind of uh, just to make sure that, that that learning curve isn't so massive. Okay. Okay. Because it's Well, guys, I learned some stuff today. It was really great. I appreciate it. It was good to meet you guys. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I, Thanks thank for having you. us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, has anybody told you to make a CBD vodka today? 
No, yeah, you should, you should we do that? Am I the first? <laughs> Guys, this is the captain's log and uh, Vita, how do I get Vita? Veda. Veda, Veda, yep. Veda on Instagram, eat? right? Veda at Veda ECN on Instagram, uh, which is Veda Endocannabinoid Nutrition. And at Veda underscore sport is yeah. our sport product. And get some stuff. You're going to have a good time. Absolutely. It's going to make you feel better. Balance out. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I learned a lot, guys. I'm it's happy. the captain's log and we're out. Wait, we should have the vapes though. You can. Go ahead. Sign off. See, yeah, I guess. You might as well. These guys are... It's crazy. <laughs>